We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, does not look like the fight will be happening anytime soon. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I started to not make this video, and I'm going to explain why throughout this video, but the bottom line is it looks like Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson will not be happening anytime soon. A lot of different information floating around. You have Shakur Stevenson, who's saying on Twitter that he did receive some type of offer from Devin Haney, but it was, in his opinion, a low ball offer or an embarrassing offer. So therefore, he said it's not something he's going to entertain because he knows his worth. He says the offer was 75-25, 25% split for the challenger and the undisputed champion would get the lion's share at 75 or whatever that fight generates. Now, there's multiple different factions who feel different ways. Some people are blaming Shakur Stevenson. Some people are blaming Devin Haney. You have one faction that's saying Devin Haney, he's the one to blame because it's a low ball offer. And some people are saying that shows he doesn't really want the fight. But I've also seen fans, some fans are saying it's Shakur Stevenson. And if you want this opportunity and you want this chance, he has all the belts. He took a risk when he fought George Cambosis, fighting in Australia twice on enemy territory, taking lower money and these types of things. So for me, the ego thoughts, one, I really don't care. Two, I understand both sides. You have Shakur who's like, yo, I'm a big enough name. I'm not saying I'm the A side, but I'm a big enough name where 75, 25 shouldn't cut it for a fight like this could be. Right. And then for Devin Haney, he's probably looking at it like I just said, hey, I took sacrifices and uh, I left Eddie Hearn and DAZN, a situation I was comfortable with. And I did and made the risk going to Bob Arum's top rank, going to Australia twice, taking shorter money than probably need be letting George Cambosis be the A side. So he's probably looking at it like that. And he also fought Devin Haney, also fought Lomachenko. So Devin Haney at the tender age of 25 or whatnot, he's he has taken chances that not all fighters are doing, especially at his age. So you got to commend him for that. The reason why I say I don't care is because on my channel, this might not be the channel for some of y'all and you guys can make that decision. I truly want to build the sport of boxing. So it doesn't really make sense from my perspective to overly stress and talk about these different things. But I have a duty to you guys as a fans. And when enough people hit me up asking for my thoughts, you know, I'll, if I have time, you know, make a video about it. But I don't really have anything to say because I truly want to focus on the reality of there's so many great fights. Stanley Onis and Virgil Ortiz this weekend. Jerron Ennis versus Villa. Of course, later this month, you got Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. You got Canelo versus Jamel Charlo. So for me, in a world of all these fights, mostly from PBC, let's be honest, PBC is holding the torch and absolutely demolishing the competition. But with all these great fights and boxing in general that we've been having, it doesn't really make sense for me, a business owner on my channel to overly explore the one fight that's not happening, which is Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. If neither one of them can get their their ish together to get on the same page or whatever the dilemma is i told you kind of what the dilemma is and i just don't care like you know what i mean there's too many great fights that are happening for me to focus on one fight that's not happening of course absolutely i'm a boxing fan if they fight i'm gonna support it i'll watch it i think it's a high speed chess match it's a great fight but again it doesn't really make sense for me to overly stress it like this is not boxing is giving us probably the best year we've had in a decade in terms of total fights, money making fights, blockbuster fights, fights we've been waiting for years like Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, Errol Spence, Crawford, you know, Canelo, Charlo. These are fights that have been marinating and people have wanted to see for years. So 
I just can't find myself and bring myself to overly talk about it. I'll leave that to you guys, the fans, the fanatical ones. You guys can talk about a million fights that aren't happening and all this fantasy. It's hard to live a life of fantasy when your reality is beautiful. And don't let that go over your head. Like, again, it's hard to live a fantasy life when your reality is beautiful. Meaning if you enjoy your life, you make a lot of money, you know, you got bad chicks and you know, a nice car or whatever. You just enjoy your situation. You don't have to play fantasy. Oh, I wish I had this car. Or what if I dated this woman when that's really your life? Like James Bond. Like if you're 007 and you're James Bond, you, you got the fast cars. You got the pretty women. You got the guns. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to live any kind of fantasy. Your life is action packed. You know what I mean? And I think 2023 is like that. 2023 is just too much greatness happening for me to overly worry about a fight that's not happening each person has their own stance hopefully they can get it together if they can't then you know so be it hopefully they both get a great next opponent hopefully we get to find out what Devin Haney's gonna do next is he gonna move up to 140 Bill Haney did a recent interview and I did hear him say the fight's not happening so again I'm not falling into the the game of the finger pointing blame game is Shakur's fault is Devin Haney's fault. I'll leave that to y'all. I'm focused more on my channel. And this is why I said my channel might not be for some of y'all. If y'all want to have a, this big high school reunion and, you know, just gossip over what's not happening rather than enjoy and build and, you know, exclamate and really anticipate the fights that are happening which happen to be really great fights so i just can't find myself to overly talk that's why i haven't been making many videos about this i'm not going back and forth it's kind of like tyson fury Usyk. you didn't really see me make a bunch of content surrounding that because i don't care fight it's a great fight undisputed tyson fury and Usyk. if you don't fight i don't care i'm focused on reality you guys focus on fantasy best in the business in the moment introducing super things Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.